Scorpio. What's up, water babies? What's popping? What's going on in the life of a scorpion? From the end of October, we're going to say the 28th to November the 15th. I said, I said, I said, I heard it's a, it's a scorpion's birthday. Scorpio, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Scorpio, to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Day. Scorpio, happy birthday. Turn up, it's your birthday. Hope you get everything you want, cause it's your birthday. Happy birthday to you, Scorpio. Happy birthday, Scorpion. Happy birthday to you. Happy, happy, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Turn up, Scorpio, it's your birthday. Hey, listen. Don't get me crunk up with y'all damn birthday song. We'll be here forever. I just like pass me the mic and my little horns. That I'll be using to scare the lady at my son's school who think I'm the devil or whatever. So listen, Scorpio, it's your birthday. What y'all doing? Hope my birthday song came out all right because the bitch is slowly losing her voice. Okay, so y'all let me know. Y'all honest. Y'all going to tell me the T-R-U-T-H. That's why I love you. Hey, if you hey, if this is your first time on my channel, I'm Oka. Also, if this is your first time viewing my channel, look out. Cuss. May cuss a little, may cuss a lot, just depending on what the hell these cards say, but I'm a cuss. So if cussing don't work for you, feel free right goddamn now to go find another beautiful reader here on YouTube that can further assist you without cussing, because I'm going to do that. Thank you all for the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments, the donations, the love, the readings, etc. Thank you so very much. I humbly appreciate it from the most humblest space ever. Thank you guys. So very much. You guys, don't be mad at me for not doing no mid-month. Y'all know I'm trying to get my move shit together to get my ass to Florida. It's time to go. So don't be mad at me because I'm only one person. I've been doing readings, trying to put my spot up. I've been trying to get general readings out. My son is trying to finish up his football season, you guys. Football mom, listen, it's been going down. So please, y'all, don't cut me too bad, okay? This will be for the summer. Oh, also... Hey, boo, hey, if, you, if, you, if you're a new subscriber, y'all, welcome to the family, right? We're a little dysfunctional over here. We don't fight and fuss. We leave that shit on other people's channel. But we do cuss. We share. We grow. We love. We enlighten. Sometimes we cry. But we evolve. Positive vibes only. Positive teams over here, okay? Returning family. What's popping, baby? Did you miss me? Because I showed me y'all ass, all right? Also, this message ain't going to resonate with everybody. Don't try to make that damn shoe fit. If the motherfucker is too big, your ass going to fall, all right? You guys, this will be for Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus, as well as the cross watchers for the sign of Scorpio from the 28th of October into the 15th of November. Y'all showed y'all ass some of the news. Thank y'all. Mm, let's get into it, all right? So we're going to start with your intuitive messages first. Well, my Scorpios, what I got for you all was surprise, plot twist, self-worth, resurrection, rebirth, life path, regretful, dreams, childhood trauma, involuntary releases, root chakra, mental health, manipulation, closure, Travel, business opportunities, recognition, relapse, forgiveness, past life, addressing suppressed feelings. Okay? Come through, Scorpio. Sound like some good shit to me. Overall energy, um, overall energy of the reading, you guys. You guys got the four of spades as well as the six of diamonds. Okay? So some of you all, for some of y'all, this is about four or being forced to move forward, okay? For others of you, I'm also I've also felt the energy. Some of you guys could have recently lost somebody or could be um going through someone's death currently or in the near future. I hate predicting death, but my condolences to you, okay? I do feel that some of you all this also has to do with revisiting like horoscopes. Some of you all are mediums. You may have a loved one come back to um, visit you 
one or what and what people would call the witching hour between three to five. For some of you all, um, you may have a loved one that's trying to let you know that you're needing to kind of release them in a healthy way. Some of y'all are holding on to someone's death. You feel as if you didn't get the closure that you need. Um, for some of you all, I do feel that you need to let this person go because this person has some type of spiritual assignment. But I feel like for some of you all, it's to you, especially if this is a mother figure or a grandmother figure I'm here in Storps. For others of you, you're wanting to reconcile a particular situation with spirit. Your ancestors are not letting it come to fruition for you because you're meant to you're meant to experience greater things. For some of you all, this has to do with the rebirth, like some type of death or dying off or shedding away of the ego in order to completely come to some type of acceptance of acceptance regarding a situation, okay? Scorpio, some of y'all definitely have another water sign that is stalking you, okay? Spirit needed you to know. And I feel like for some of y'all, this obsession is dangerous to the point that it could literally, this person is not mentally stable. Some of you all also, if you're dealing with somebody who has some type of addiction issues in the past, some of you all may be kind of stagnant when it comes to making decisions, when it comes to matters of the heart, as well as opportunities, because you're afraid of, in your absence, somebody relapsing or... For some of you all, you're getting ready to reconcile with someone who you haven't seen in quite some time, possibly due to some type of addiction. Somebody went to a rehab or got some type of assistance. I'm also picking up behavioral health. So somebody could have had some type of um, episode. I'm, I'm going to call it an episode because someone in y'all energy could be experiencing some type of spiritual awakening and mediumship. So this could be you or another person. Somebody's a medium and they scared as hell of it. And I feel like... They're trying to communicate with their family members and their friends, but it's not, they're not being, like, it's not being receptive. Is that people looking at you as if you're crazy. And this is, there's this aspect of, like, uh, for some of you all, this fear around truly letting someone in. It's like this fear of being judged. I see that, that, that there's a sense of shedding coming with that, happening with that, okay? Angel message that you guys got during this time was hello from heaven, Archangel Azrael. Your loved ones in heaven are doing fine. Let go of worries and feel their loving blessing, okay? For some of you all, this also has to do with you actually being guided and you being protected in some type of career endeavor I'm hearing as well. For some of you all, you have a, um, some of y'all got a very strong female figure. This could be an aunt for some of you all. For some of y'all, I heard a big sister. Okay, so some of y'all could have lost your sister. Um, this person wants you, first and foremost, they want you to start your ass back writing. She says start your ass back writing. Um, also, whoever this is for, um, some of y'all, this person, you've been, some of y'all, you have to let this person go because you're inheriting them as a spirit guide. It's, ugh. Some of y'all need to get connected with your spirit guides. Like, if you have a paranormal shit happening in your home, like lights flickering or something being like knocked, things being knocked off, some of y'all, they want you to know that it's not demonic, it's not evil. Your guides are really trying to get y'all attention and they need you, they need you to give them author, authority to move on your behalf. For some of you all, this is also your ancestors when it comes to matters of wealth. Y'all take that high resume. For others of you, this has to do with your crown chakra. Some of y'all are also going to be receiving messages within the crown chakra, within your subconscious space dream. Your dreams will be extremely lucid, but they're also very directive, Scorpio. The next message you guys got was career transition. Archangel Chamuel. Your life purpose is triggering a blessed career change. For some of you all, this is about, I feel like some of y'all are speakers, artists, 
Um, you do some type of, some of y'all also connect with some type of creative flow. Some of you all are painters. Others of you all are advocates. You all are public speakers. Some of you all are counselors. You're being called to this sense of, this sense of like this space of leadership, Scorpio. And for some of you all, this has to do with your abundance. You've been praying and you can't control how it's coming. For some of y'all, you're being called to jump off the cliff. And understand that spirit is leading you. You are being led, okay? By your ancestors. The angels want you to know that we with you, baby. We got you like, look, we got you like flies on shit, baby. We in this thing. But you got to trust in yourself, trust in your ability, and trust in your gift. Believe in yourself like your ass. Believe in waking up the next morning, okay? I do feel that for some of you all, there is some type of offer that will be presented possibly from an older woman, okay? For some of you all, this has to do with some type of family business. Others of you, this also has to do with um, you building that sense of like ancestral wealth for your for your family. So some of y'all may be getting getting into IRAs and like um and I heard investments and I also heard CDs. Okay, all right. So let's get it. The messages. I'm gonna dig into this little life. Get some water cords for my water babies. Uh, 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 this is Scorpio. Scorpio on that boss type shit. Uh, uh, for your birthday. Yeah. Uh, uh, yes. Come on, Mars energy. Spirit, what messages do you have? What's the sign of Scorpio? Now the 28th to the 15th of November. What is it that they can expect and love? Hmm. Some of you all are freeing yourself from a situation with an earth sign. Capricorn towards Virgo. For some of you all, this has to do with an actual job or um, somewhere where you are now. And it, for some of you all, this has to do with you choosing to work for your damn self. Whatever it is that you have been working on, I do see growth in finances for some of you all. I also see if there was an issue with someone uh, being willing to compromise in a relationship with you, especially if this is a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, this person dated what they want to get right, Scorpio, because they asses don't want to get left, okay? For some of you all, you have been putting in the work um, to try and try and to try to make some type of reconciliation um, move forward, possibly with the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I do feel that as much as you want to give to this relationship, somebody or you or another person, take it high resume, y'all, okay? As much as someone wants to give to this union, the other person is really focused on their abundance. This person could be some type of, you could be a single parent or somebody could be a single mother or a single father, okay? I do feel that for some of you all, somebody who you have a child with, this person definitely wants to reconcile, but for some of you all, you like, it's a no-go, bro. I'm not with it, okay? I do better on my own, and I ain't got to worry about no third-party shit, all right? Things will be illuminated when it comes to some type of third party, especially if this is involving a Virgo, okay? I do feel that someone wants to explain themselves. Someone wants to make a situation, right? And also, someone could have... Uh, Scorpio, you and another person could have uh, separated from the mother or father of your children. I feel like somebody has returned and wanted to work on a situation, but you could have already been trying to start up something new, possibly with an earth sign, Capricorn towards Virgo. I feel like the child's mother or father could be another water sign like yourself, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, on air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I feel like somebody, somebody feels sorry for putting you in a third party in the past. Somebody thought the grass was green on the other side. Scorpio, they had some fake ass grass over there. <laughs> I'm not laughing at them, but you know, you got it. Yeah, that's kind of fucking funny when somebody thinks the grass green on the other side. I mean, we're from Mars. Come on now, ain't nobody got no inner pity. It's y'all asses. And tag me in, sis. I love this shit. Listen. Okay, because whoever this motherfucker is, I feel like this person talked really big shit to y'all. Somebody was really, really on a high horse when they call themselves cutting you out their life. Now this person is over here stalking. They can't free themselves from their own damn emotions of how they fucked up. But whoever this is, they also have accountability issues. They don't want to take accountability for their actions, okay? For some of you all, you could be experiencing this sense of insomnia. Some of you all may need to uh, drink chamomile tea. I also heard melatonin. So for those of you who have been kind of wanting to know if them, if taking somebody recommended melatonin to you, you've been wanting to know if it's safe, spirit is saying go, yes, it's okay, baby. Get some rest. Some of you all, you got a Pisces stalking you. Others of you, it's a damn cancer, okay? I feel like for some of you all, you could be dealing with the sign of Pisces. I feel like the energy of a tit for tat, you could have done something to this person. 
Now this person is trying to kind of bring you in or draw you in as if they want to give you love. But I feel like somebody's going to stab you later, either you or the other person. Take it how it resonates, okay? Spirit is wanting you to be weird. Be very cautious when dealing with this damn person, okay? For others of you, you got an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They want to come in and, and make things right with you. But for some of you all, you like, hell no, I just, you don't trust this person. Or if this is you wanting to go make a situation right, you feel as if you don't know how to do it. Or somebody feels as if they don't know how to make something right or how they can make something right. For some of you all, huh. For some of you all, you have to definitely choose between the mother and father, the mother or father of your children. This person could be a um, Libra, Taurus, Pisces, like yourself, Aries, Virgo. And for some of you all, some of y'all, you could have a, a mother-in-law that interferes in your damn business, in your relationship business. This could be your spouse's mother. Somebody's mama has, has was giving them some real piss-poor-ass advice when it comes to your relationship. And I feel like whoever I'm connecting with, this person could be an only child or the oldest child. But whoever this person, whatever mother figure this is, somebody's mama figure is a victim. And they're a victim to keep this person distracted from really being able to build with you. Ooh, the tea, honey. Yeah, some of you guys, some of you guys could be finding out, yeah, some of y'all could also be finding out that you're pregnant. If you're a Scorpio man, you could also be finding out that you have another water sign person pregnant. A Libra, a Pisces, Taurus, Aries, Virgo. You could be indecisive about giving a fuck right now, but I do see your heart gives a fuck. But your head kind of want to show this person that they need to humble themselves. For others of you, you could be finding out that your ass pregnant by a damn Leo. And I feel like this was more so planned. Congratulations, babies. For others of you, you're kind of juggling a new beginning. Some of y'all need to make a choice between two people. Do you want this damn earth sign? Do you want this Leo? Do you want this new situation? Do you want to kind of balance out a situation with this, with this damn fire sign? Some of y'all feel like an Aries Leo Sagittarius is being very childish at this point, and you're just really going to focus on your money. I feel like you love this person, but there's this sense of maybe someone feels that they don't have enough. For others of you, there's an offer coming in from, who, from whoever this Queen of Wands is. This could be you making an offer to the Queen of Wands, Scorpio. But I feel like, yeah, someone is triggering some sense of abandonment with you. And I feel like you really want to hold on to this person because you love this person. But Spirit is saying that this cycle has to end. Yeah. Because you are another person. You are another person has a very unhealthy attachment to money or relationship with money. Someone here could be a boss figure. Yeah. Someone is trying to make it. Like, I feel like you the emperor. Some of y'all could be dealing with the sign of Aries, but I feel like. This damn emperor feels like, oh, you know, look at, hey, little baby, look at you on your little shiny ass coin. Ain't you so cute? But I'm the emperor, baby. Go find your mama. Where's your, where's your father? Tell your father, come, tell, tell your mama come back and talk to me. If you're a woman, you asking this little baby, little baby, where, where's your father? Okay, you, you're so cute. <laughs> You're so cute, cause little baby, I'm 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 the queen of pentacles. Listen, wh where is your father? Where is your father? Tell him, tell him, tell him, come see me, okay? For others of you, you have a Taurus who you have a child with. This person wants to come back and make things right. They want to offer their love. You're being very defensive toward this person because you've already shown me who you are and I believed you, so I'm over it, okay? For others of you, you have a water sign. If you're already in a in an exist uh, in an existing relationship. Some of you guys could um, be ending a cycle possibly with one that's toxic, okay, or one that, where there was no communication or maybe one person was putting so much focus into money, not into love, okay? But I do see that you guys are going into a new cycle of your life, one that is very abundant where the coin is popping. And I feel like for some of you, this also has to do with some type of renewal around a family relationship. 
Some of y'all have a water sign woman coming in, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, that's trying to be a disturbance, okay? Um, I feel like your partner, you or your partner could have children with this person. This person is trying to come in and cause a tower moment, and I feel like they're trying to cause a tower moment by being a distraction with having every damn thing wrong. This is wrong this week. This is wrong. Five more things wrong this week. This person is trying to be a distraction. If you or your partner needs to set healthy boundaries, and I feel like eventually it's going to get to a point where you guys only deal with this person when it comes to some type of court agreement or legal agreement when it comes um, as it has to do with custody because you're dealing with a very petty ass person who just don't want to see you want you don't want to see you be happy, but they're going to get a damn reality check, okay? Somebody was praying for your damn downfall, Scorpio, but they got a damn reality check. Some of y'all, there's some type of paperwork coming when it comes to inheritances, assets. Others, you could also be signing deeds, mortgages. Good shit, Scorpio. They're saying be careful. Yeah. Some of y'all need to be careful when it comes to um, moving too fast. Moving too fast when it comes to options in love. Some of y'all are dealing with a cancer that's a hoe. And I feel like this person is having a hard time letting you go. So this person is being a hoe to get over you. They're being a hoe to cope. For others of you, there's talks of reconciliation with a Sagittarius who you left the hell alone. This person has now uh, come to the conclusion that you're only a reflection of them and that you're not giving out energy, but yet returning energy. If you, How the fuck are you going to ask me to open up if you don't open up? How are you going to ask me for something that you can't give? How, Sway? How? All right. So advice for Scorpio. Let me, guys, let me you guys with something from the angels. Angels, what messages do you have for Scorpio? What's your advice? Advice for Scorpio the 28th of uh, October to the 15th of November. Advice for my Scorpions. Advice, advice, advice for my Scorpios. Advice. Okay, yes, honey. I got three of them. All three of them. You guys got courage. Archangel Ariel, be courageous and stand up for your beliefs. Tell a motherfucker how you feel about that behavior and what the hell you will not allow. Speak up for yourself. For some of you all, you got a Gemini finna open up, a Sagittarius finna open up, a Pisces, a Cancer, another Scorpio you finna cut the hell off because you got a new beginning waiting on you, okay? Next message you guys got was gentleness. Archangel Sandifon. Be very gentle with yourself at this time and surround yourself with gentle people, situations, and environments. How sway? Make it make sense and come back and holler at me. But until then, I'm working on expressing myself through creative endeavors. I'm working on planning my future. I'm working on taking care of myself. And I'm going to show you through my example of how I treat my damn self how you ain't going to treat me. You know who I am. But let me tell you who the fuck I'm not. <laughs> okay? Archangel Metatron, chakra clearing. Oh, yeah, that crown chakra is going to be booming. Some of y'all also may be dreaming of uh, sacred, like sacred geometrical symbols as well that has ties to your past life. Look them up, babies. Call upon me to clear and open your chakras using sacred, sacred geometrical shapes. I feel as if whatever this shedding and this rebirth is for you all, I definitely feel like it has a massive, it's going to have a massive effect on your, on the aspect um, of your consciousness and your consciousness awareness and also you being more consciously aware of the way that you see things, the way that you receive things and definitely the way that, the way that things are being communicated to you during this time. And you're being called just not to be defensive, to remain open, but definitely address, a, call a fucking spade a spade. If the shit don't make sense. I'm not buying. If it don't, if, I, if I can't make dollars, it doesn't make sense. Why would I sit here and coordinate and help you plan your damn project and shit, and then you trying to give me a loop? No, fuck that. How about I just create the whole motherfucker myself, cut you out, and become great? That was for somebody. All right? So I love you all. I will see you guys here mid-month. You guys have a beautiful birthday, and I love y'all. Bye, y'all.